you could be mean. And I could drink all the time. And nothing can keep us together. Hello, everyone. It's Charlton. All right, so there was a triple homicide in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, all right, which is north of Pittsburgh by about 50 miles. It's right across the board from Youngstown, Ohio, where uh, I think the movie Breaking Away with Tom Cruise, good movie, football movie. Anyways, um, so there was a triple homicide Tuesday morning. Uh, it says the police were called there. This one says 4.30 in the morning, but I don't, but the, uh, the article over here says 8 in the morning. And there's been an arrest. Three people were killed, a mom, her daughter, and I believe her, her boyfriend. The three people that were killed were Cole Pumphrey, her daughter, 10 years old, Amariah Emery, and uh, Lawrence Cannon. Okay, and this individual has been arrested. His name is Stephen Procopio. And there's some video of him where he's being led in cuffs to a cruiser. I think the police had just been speaking with him for like six hours straight. And it says he's going to be charged with three counts of criminal homicide. I assume criminal homicide is the equivalent of murder in Newcastle. And, um, yeah, he's on, uh, you know, he's on Facebook. That's him there, the individual. He, reportedly, he babysits for the family. There were four other kids in the home at the time. And uh, I'm not real clear on that. And this is the mom who was shot and killed. She was shot twice. The daughter was shot once. And the boyfriend was shot once. They were all three died though and um and there was four other children of various ages i don't know exactly what and they're on her facebook page but you know but uh, i can't you know can't show them but um I, it's not clear to me i believe the children got 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 out of there and went to a neighbor or a friend or family member and then and then the police were called to the home that's how i understand it so but he reportedly babysits for them and here's video of him after speaking with police for six hours, as I understand it, in cuffs being led to the cruiser and a reporter is asking him, you know, like, why did you do that to that girl? And it, you can barely make it out, but he says, I didn't hurt her, I think. And then she out, and then he says something else. It's very difficult to hear what he says. He kind of mumbles as he talks, but, um, you know, so here it is. Hold on a second. Stuff. How could you hurt this 10 year old little girl? What happened? Tell us what happened that day. I didn't even talk to the officer. What was that? Do you have anything to say to the family? Do you have anything to say for yourself? So. You know, it says 19-year-old man has been arrested in connection with Tuesday's triple homicide in Newcastle. Such a turkey. City police charged Stephen Procopio, Procopio, 19, of New Wilmington in Lawrence County with killing Nicole Pumphrey, her daughter, Amariah Am Am Emery, and L Lawrence Cannon, Newcastle Police Chief Robert Sa Salem told reporters that Procopio was acquainted with Hump Pumphreys. We believe he used to babysit the children. Pumphreys is listed as a friend on uh, uh, Procopio's Facebook page. The victims were found dead from gunshot wounds. Procopio was placed in Lawrence County Jail to await arraignment this morning. This morning is today, Thursday. This is, I mean, he, he was just arrested yesterday evening, I believe. Um, investigators were called to Pumphrey's home about 8.30 a.m. Tuesday after four other children in the house discovered the victim's bodies, according to investigators. So maybe the killing took place at 4.30 in the morning. I don't understand how the children were not awoken from gunshot wounds. That, one of the children called Pumphrey's father to the house, then fled with the others to seek help. Salem, uh, Salem said investigators believe Pumphrey lived in the home with her daughter and and that Cannon, who was her boyfriend, lived elsewhere. He declined to discuss a possible motive for the shooting. The other children who were in the home are staying with family members. Maybe the children were dropped off there in the morning. The father has to go to work, and he drops them off there to be you know, watched by the mom to go to work. That, that's a possibility. That's a distinct possibility. Newcastle News reporter Procopio was brought in for questioning on Wednesday night. 
before charging him, charging him at 12.30 a.m. 12.30 a.m., I think Thursday, you know, early morning hours, 12.30 a.m. today. Newspaper reported that the second person, Jody Hammer, who they believe lives with Procopio, was arrested on charges that they had, uh, they had a marijuana growing operation in their house. Jody Hammer. So Salem said that police discovered the marijuana plants when they went to search their house. The news reported an autopsy determined that Cannon was shot once, Pumphrey was shot twice, and the girl was shot once. Amariah Emery was a fifth grader at George Washington Intermediate School. Wow. So uh, pretty crazy. And, um, you know, we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. That's the end of this video. There's... Uh, Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below and I will uh, see you in the next video. Later, man.